Feel free to read any of my comics. And you guys feel free to sit on my bean bag. Forty cents, outrageous. As fate would have it, the comic I picked up was called X-Men. Young mutants with incredible powers who were feared and misunderstood by the entire world. Hey, it's about me. Now, it wasn't typical for me to wander out into the urban jungle on my own, but I was on a mission. I had gotten my first taste of serialized superheroes, and I needed more. Excuse me, do you have X-Men number 137? I'd like to know what happens next, please. Back then in the corner. What are you doing here? Oh, hello, Tam. I thought you said comic books were for children. I'm a complicated young man. I'm enjoying this, but I'm having trouble with the onomatopoeia. The what? The onomatopoeia. Words that imitate sounds. Kthum. Snit. Banff. Writers shouldn't make up words. Somebody made up onomatopoeia. You challenge me, I like that. What? Nothing. You want one? No. Well, if you change your mind, help yourself. I didn't have to read many comic books to understand that every superhero had a weakness, something they had to overcome through an extraordinary act of courage. For Cyclops, it was the loss of Jean Grey. For Rogue, it was human touch. For me, it was food that required chewing. So if I truly was a mutant, I would have to do the same. On this day, I would not be defeated. Because this was the day I became the Chewer. Just like that, I overcame my fear of choking. All that was left was my fear of dogs, birds, insects, germs, hugging, buttonfly pants, rivers, ponds, lakes, oceans, estuaries, corduroy, root vegetables, squeaky balloons, tinted windows, take a penny, leave a penny, fireworks, potbelly stoves, dust bunnies, that fuzz on peaches, blech. interesting is how many supervillains are scientists. Dr. Octopus, Dr. Doom, Lex Luthor, Green Goblin, the list goes on and on. So? So if the world doesn't respect me, I might change sides. Uh-oh. Good luck. I tried to explain to my parents that a mutant named Cyclops, who shoots laser beams out of his eyes, helped me eat a licorice stick. It went right over their heads. <laughs> 